Hey, I'm uh, Nick with Fayette County Conservation. I'm here with Isaac Settlemeyer, and we are on the Turkey River. And yesterday we received a report of a possible sick eagle. And when we came to investigate yesterday, we found that it had green poop, which is a good sign of lead poisoning. Um, we weren't able to get it last night, so we came back out this morning and we found it here on the river bank. Um, hopefully, we can get him and. If we do successfully, we will take it to our partners with SOAR, saving our avian resources, and hopefully they'll be able to nurse it back to health, and in a few months, it'll be released back into the wild, healthy as can be. Uh, luckily we were able to, I was able to sneak up behind this young one here and well I guess he's a mature adult eagle but we were able to grab him and um, you don't realize how lucky you are to get to hold something like this. Very few people get the chance to do this. Well, I just uh, transferred an adult eagle from Nick and Isaac with Fayette County Conservation Board, my old alma mater stomping grounds. And we will transfer uh, this bird, hopefully soon, to our facility, SOAR, Saving Our Avian Resources. We're based in Carroll County, Iowa, so we're kind of a long ways away, um, but we have a nice relationship with, with our folks there. Um, we have a pretty good idea that this bird has probably uh, dined on something that was had some lead in it so maybe um, a deer that was harvested that wasn't um, found uh, who knows a pheasant um, we don't know but showing the classic symptoms of a bird that has some lead toxicity so we'll get that confirmed and then we'll work on a treatment and uh basically like so what do you how do you treat them so first thing um, just like if you were to go to the emergency room doctors going to do give you a once-over and look for everything so we're gonna check to see if there's any broken bones to see how um, fit how how much muscle that bird it has so we'll know um, an idea of if it's um, not eaten in a while um, we'll check vision we'll check the bird over for abrasions, for boo-boos that aren't obvious at first sight, because sometimes those crop up. Um, we'll do a blood draw and do a blood lead test, just like if you took your um, soon-to-be kindergartner uh, to the public health and have a blood lead test done. Same thing that we do um, with all of our eagles that come in. We try and get a blood lead test, and that'll give us an idea about how impacted this bird is with, with lead, um, if that truly is the case. And then, um, once we know that, then, then a course of action, um, a course of treatment will be figured out.